scare you? I was hoping to. Hey there, second graders at Strawbridge Elementary. I hope you're doing well since the last time we saw each other. We have talked about, whoops, I dropped my cards here. We have talked about the bear, the chipmunk. We have yet to talk about the earth, the megalosaurus, the humpback whale, the California condor. Whoops, silly, oops. Look at me, I'm all mixed up here. The mushroom, the lion, or the golden beetle. So today I am going to introduce a new living thing and I'm gonna give you a couple hints. This living thing lays its eggs on the undersides of leaves. Can you guess which of these things would lay its eggs on the underside of a leaf? It prefers its host plant is generally a sweet potato and a morning glory. Let's see if you know. I'll give you a little time to think about it. Is it the earth? Is it the megalosaurus? Is it a humpback whale? Is it a California condor? Is it a mushroom? Is it a lion? You guessed it, it's the golden beetle. The golden tortoise beetle, to be exact. Otherwise known as a golden bug. They are mostly found in North America, that's where we live. And they're mostly found on the East Coast. So that's also where we live. So if you look here at this map, the golden beetles are mostly found right around here. Okay, a little bit into the Midwest and a little bit on the East Coast, but for the most part, they're right around us, within all driving distance of us, which is amazing. We're gonna learn a lot more about the golden, the golden tortoise beetle. Okay, so usually there's only one generation each year because their life cycle happens in a very short amount of time. So they first appear in about May or June, so right around the beginning of summertime. But their population is really evident by July, which means that by like the middle of summer when you're swimming at ocean breeze or going to the beach, the golden beetles, the golden tortoise beetles are booming. That's like their main season, July. They become super evident. And then um, they kind of start to dwindle off into fall. And then the new adults, they feed briefly before entering a stage called diapause. Woo, big word, diapause. Okay, so it looks like, the word looks like this. Let me show you. Diapause. And just as the word suggests, it is a, a time of the life cycle in which there is pause. So it's during that winter time where nature tends to hibernate. The golden tortoise beetle, the adult golden tortoise beetle, goes into diapause, which is a time period in which there is no growth. So growth is halted. And they just kind of stay just like they are until the springtime again. So that is super interesting. I love that. I think that's super cool. Um, so the development from the time they are an egg in the beginning of summer to the time they are, um, you know, to the time of, uh, adulthood is 40 days. So, um, that's not that long. That's a month, um, a little over a month. So that's not a super long time. Um, an adult golden tortoise beetle is about as big as the end of my pencil or the eraser of my pencil. So can you imagine holding that in your hand? It's not all that big. Okay. So it's saying about five to seven millimeters in length. This is cool. They vary in color. So this is a happy golden tortoise beetle. But if they are threatened in any way, or they feel like a predator is coming, or there's something in their environment that's triggering stress, they look like a ladybug. So they'll turn orange and they get black dots. And scientists believe that that is because evolutionarily speaking, it helps them to look like a ladybug. And that could be because things that eat golden tortoise beetles um, don't eat ladybugs. So it helps them to look like a ladybug. So then all of a sudden the predators say, oh, we're not really interested in this bug, this beetle. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, their margins, so right around their edges are really transparent. And then they really take on that gold metallic look all throughout their shell or their, their back their back portion. So they look, um, they're called the golden tortoise beetle because they look similar to a tortoise or a turtle just by the way that their backs are humped like that. All right, let's see some more information here. Okay, 
So we're going to talk for a minute about the life cycle of a golden tortoise beetle. So everything, every living thing has a life cycle. Birth, life, and then the end of life, death. All right, so here we have the life cycle of a golden tortoise beetle is it becomes an egg, it becomes larva, it becomes a pupa, which is very similar looking to larva, the way that they appear, and then the adult. So I'm going to show you right now what the, it's kind of hard to see because it's computer screen to computer screen, but I'll do my best here and try to avoid too much glare. Okay, so it looks like this, I'm trying to turn it sideways so that there's no glare. So this is what the eggs look like of the golden tortoise beetle laid on the underside of a leaf. As I said before, the host plants of a golden tortoise beetle are the um, sweet potato and the morning glory. Often gardeners, um, really avid gardeners, will plant morning glories in order to attract golden tortoise beetles in areas in which they're prevalent because they're very interesting. Gardeners find them to be very intriguing because they're not everywhere and they're somewhat unusual looking. And if you, if you see one, you'll also be drawn to it because it's just, it's just unusual. Okay, so as we said before, um, the eggs are attached on the underside of, a, of the leaves of their host plants. Um, the eggs are usually oval uh, and kind of flattened. And um, they are one mil the eggs are one millimeter in, in width, so not very, they're even, and this is about five millimeters here. So one fifth of that would be super small. So they're incredibly small and they hatch within five to 10 days. They, they're, um, the eggs are in about 20 egg clusters. So um, they'll be laid in 20, kind of 20 eggs on one leaf sort of deal. Okay, so next is the larva stage. This is, this is interesting. You guys will be very interested in what the larva of the golden tortoise beetle looks like. So they're broad and they're flattened, but they have branch spines coming off of it. I'm gonna show you a picture in one second. Um, they're yellowish brown and they're, the larva matures in about 14 to 21 days. So, and the larva and the pupa look very similar. Um, the larva continues to molt through the larva and pupa stage. Oops, nope, that's the egg. Give me one second here. Okay, get ready. If you have a sensitive stomach, you might be a little bit grossed out by this. But this is what the golden tortoise beetle larva look like. And they look very similar when they're pupa. That uh, bit of molting starts to come toward their backside um, during the pupa stage. But, um, you know, interesting, right? Something you didn't know before. It's always good to learn new things. And as I said, the, the um, host plants for the golden tortoise beetle are the sweet potato and the morning glory mostly. There are a few others, but um, they do like green, anything really green. Um, they kind of can uh, make work, but they do prefer the sweet potato and the morning glory. Folks, I think that is about all I have for you today. A shorter video than previous videos that I've had for you, but I will be back. I want to talk to you about um, the other living things I have here. So, um, We've done the, the bear, we've done the chipmunk, and now we've done the golden tortoise beetle. So in future weeks, we'll talk about the earth, the megalosaurus, the humpback whale, the California condor, the mushroom, and the lion. And I look so forward to seeing you again. Thank you for letting me join you. Bye, second graders. See ya.